Good morning everybody, super quick video here um, in Seven Oaks this morning, beautiful spring morning. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about feeding and weeding a seed and roof, really elementary. Spring is the time to, um, to look after your roof and in approximately 30 seconds to one minute I reckon I can tell you um, exactly what you need to do to, um, to keep it clear. First thing to bear in mind, as you can see, are some little, um, still some little red patches in the middle. The seed and roof is struggling, and we we were called in last year to um, to revive it. Not too much that needed to be done to be done, but what we did do was put down some organic slow release fertilizer, which has really helped bring things on. But it's also created fertile conditions for some invasives to um, to take. Um, <clears throat> So uh, we want the sedum on there, obviously, and depending on what your um, what your opinions are, some of the um, some of the asters and dandelion um, that I can see dotted around might also be desirable. They provide um, they provide some um, early season forage for the uh, for the bees um, that are starting to um, starting to wake up wake up now. <coughs> but there's some um, there's some thistles here. There's some grasses, um, and there's something that looks like it might be. A little bit of fat hen over um, over on the over on the edge. Basically, if it doesn't look like sedum, um, take it out using our trusty tool here. Being careful not to damage the waterproofing. A little gentle pop, pulling out. Ideally, if you can remove the roots, set aside in the um, set aside in the bag. Um, <clears throat> there's dozens of thistles here, um, and one of the things that we'll um, that we need to look out for whenever you feed a roof is that um, is that other plants can um, can grow in. Any gaps that get left, you don't need to buy another sedum um, sedum mat. What you do is you can gather the cuttings like so. These guys, if you distribute them in the gaps, will reseed and begin to um, and begin to spread again in exactly the same way as if you pulled out the um, pulled out the sedum from the um, from the drainage channels so um, 101 feed and weed by all, these plants do need um, do need some feeding but you'll also need to look out for um, for taking out some of the plants in the spring should be done by March April um, and the um, the cuttings redistributed so that they can um, they can take ahead of the growing season which is coming up now super simple there are about uh, 10, um, 10 plants that, um, that we regularly take out. We've got a handy pocket guide that all of the, um, the maintenance operatives um, go out with. Um, <clears throat> if, you'd like to, um, if you'd like to get hold of that information from you, for yourself, then um, please drop us a line. All the usual channels, email, phone, Twitter, um, or even, even Instagram. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.